Dominique Strauss-Kahn's get-out-of-jail card was anything but free. Money alone is not going to be sufficient. In addition to the $6 million bond, Strauss-Kahn also had to hire private security at a cost of $200,000 a month to watch him around the clock, conditions similar to those imposed on Bernie Madoff. I think it's overkill. I think it's unnecessary. Attorney Gerald Lefcourt has defended high-profile white-collar suspects for years. This is a violent crime, uh, no question about it. Uh, but, you know, there are tons of people out on far worse far worse, actual completed rapes, murders. But this former prosecutor says it seems unfair to grant defendants bail only if they can afford to set up their own jail cell at home. Reasonable people will argue that if we're that worried about this guy, he shouldn't be out at all on any bail conditions. And, you know, some people probably see this as a, a kind of favoritism. Strauss-Kahn was supposed to be living in this luxury Upper East Side apartment building, but when the location became public, the deal fell through. The media circus upset neighbors. The reason that he had to move is because members of the press attempted to invade his private residence. Tonight, he was transported to temporary housing set up by the security firm he's hired. And until they find a permanent place, he won't even be able to walk out his front door. Michelle Miller, CBS News, New York.